Hello! It is Summerween day three, and shockingly, but happily, I it's 2.30, which is normally when I leave for work, and I looked at the schedule to see who I was working with, and there's a girl I work with named Kate, and like we're always kind of getting each other confused, especially on the schedule, and also her last name is almost exactly like mine. Like, it starts with like C-O, but then hers is like C-O-A-L, and mine C-O-L, so it's always confusing. So I thought she was me. No, she, Kate works today. Katie doesn't work today. So God bless America. We have the day off. And of course, you know, it would have been nice to have known that before I just like wasted. I mean, not wasted, but just like laid around because that's what I do if I have to work is I just lay around all day. But anyway, um, I, since I figured that out, did get quite a ways farther into Battle Royale. I am on page 440, I believe. And I want to tell you something. So as of right now, I think there's like 16 kids left so far. And I want to let you know that most of them are girls. Most of them are girls. Not upset about it. Not upset about it. Now, here's the thing. It's not like the girls are like, oh my God, we're out here murking people. Like, oh my God. Brrr. No, no. It's because the, the there's more boys doing that, obviously. The girls are hiding instead of hunting, which like we've seen the Hunger Games. That's a smarter way to go. Do you remember the Hunger Games where there was a year where somebody won just because they hid until everybody else was dead? Iconic. Um, but then there's, I mean, obviously there's some girls out there killing people, but most of them are like, oh my God, what? No, save me. Amazing. <laughs> Perfect. I was like, yes, bitch. Yes. But anyway, I am digging it. I will say again, I've said it in the other two videos, but if you haven't, if you're watching the third one for some reason, um, I would definitely suggest physically reading this because the remastered edition there's this is the third translation is so good and the audiobook has not been remastered so the audiobook for starters I swear to god anytime the narrator it's like they're like somebody begging for their life or just begging for something they oh my god the narrator is so pathetic like makes them sound so pathetic like I swear to god there's a moment where one of the boys is like, no, please let me join. No, please, please let me join. Please, please. And it's over and over and over again. And I was seriously sitting here like reading this and listening to it at the same time going, I want them to just kill him at this point. Like he clearly, one, he's annoying, but I was like, just kill him because he clearly is going to hold you back. He's going to get y'all got. He can't shut the fuck up. He's annoying. He's a crybaby. He's got to go. So, you know, listen, we're becoming very brutal in this book. Not going to lie to you. But I am reading that, but I need to go and uh, make an Amazon return because the outfit that you, you know, currently see me in, hello, thanks to uh, Chandler Ainsley, I had bought what I thought, like, if you, I'll try to remember to put the link to this outfit below, but it's so amazing. But if you buy the size that you would normally wear, the fabric is supposed to be like, uh, what's that called? Where it's like... Like it's supposed to like suck you in. It's too tight and it was like making my stomach hurt. So I'm going to return my size. I'd ordered a size up and I'm going to return my size. And then what is it? I needed to do, I think I'm going to go to Half Price Books to look at their manga selection. Sorry, my alarm telling me I needed to leave for work just went off and it cut the cam. But there was some other stuff I needed to do. I need to take my garbage out. I don't know. There was some other stuff I needed to do. But we're going to try to, the goal for today is to get... Battle Royale done, and then also Eric LaRocca's uh, newest novella. Those are the goals for today, and we're gonna freaking try to get this shit done, and I'm gonna take you with me. Hey, um, I didn't film it, but I did go to one the ups store but then i also went to a comic book store and i'd never been there before it's called like indel in indel i don't know anyway i went there and it was very tiny and it was really cute but i realized that they only sold graphic novels and they had a couple manga but like it was just sailor moon and fruits basket and i was like it's not what i'm looking for and they did have a lot of graphic novels but that's just not what i'm in the mood for right now like i want manga you know what I'm saying? So I'm actually at, and I didn't film anything in there because it was like so tiny and there were so many dudes in there. Like I put my shirt on because I was like, I don't trust men on site. 
I'm sure they were all super nice. But then again, you know, that's what people always say before they get got, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sure they're all super nice, but I'm like, it's just a bunch of dudes in a bookstore. I don't want anybody to talk to me. I put a mask on. I like fucking full tilt. Like, don't talk to me. So I'm about to do the same thing in half price books, even though in half price books, generally it's like 80% women and like 20% men that are in there. And almost all the people that work there are women. And there's always a shit ton of employees. Why am I trying to act like, like trying to tell you like which bookstores are like safe havens? But honestly, I am. Honestly, I am. Um, I mean, if you're a girl and you're into like comics or graphic novels, you know what I'm talking about. Like if you go into a comic book store, all of a sudden everybody either wants to talk to you or they want to demean you and act like you don't actually, like you don't actually read manga. Anyway, um, while I was at Red Lights, I've been reading we can never leave this place. And not only do I not really understand what's going on, but I'm not really digging it. Like, I'm not really digging it. And I fucking hate this bitch's mom. This bitch's mom, eat glass. Anyway, I got to chapter 60 of Battle Royale. And since I'm gonna be walking around in there, I'm just gonna listen to the audiobook. But I'm gonna tell you right now, for starters, I have, I'm not gonna show you it necessarily, but no, I can't show you. Well, actually I can't, I'll just show it far away. Oh, far away. Hello. Um, I've had like, I'm highlighting all the people that have died. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've read this book, Mitsuko Seya, I think I spelled this wrong. Mitsuko Soma? Just Mitsuko, the um, number 11 girl is that bitch. Oh, there's somebody pulling in literally right next to me. There's so many parking spots. There's literally a bajillion parking spots that are closer. Why do you want to park next to me? Okay. Bye-bye. I was just like staring at him. Anyway, Mitsuko, number 11 girl is that bitch. She's that bitch. No, look, don't get me wrong. Do I agree with anything that she's doing? Do I think she's an, she, is she a nice girl? No. Is she crazy? Yes. But listen, she, you know, she's the storyline we need. Her and what's his face? Kiriyama? Let's see if I'm saying that right. Yeah. Kazuo Kiriyama. Those two. I was like, this is what I fucking need. This is the Hunger Games vile shit I'm fucking looking for. Let's play the game, bitch. So yeah, I am really enjoying it. I'm this far in. So I'm gonna leave the book in here and then I'm just going to put bookmarks um, on Libby on the parts that I need to put tabs on when I get out of the bookstore. I was just here a couple days ago. Um, so I don't think there's really gonna be anything that I need to buy. But everybody that is in the book community knows that it's just fucking fun walking around a bookstore. Even if you don't buy anything, it's just fun. It's just fun. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and maybe we'll find some manga we wanna read. Y'all, maybe there was something in this half-price books that I would have wanted. Maybe, but uh, they didn't have any manga that I wanted. But when I tell you, I was in there for like 15 minutes and five characters died. And I literally was like, I went to the bathroom and I was trying to bookmark where characters died and it was happening so fast. I was like, I need to leave. I need to leave. I need to go back to the car. I need to start fucking tabbing. And I did. And I had to like re-listen to the chapter because I was like, what the fuck just happened? And it's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Which is when a bunch of characters, which this is not a spoiler because like literally if you had any common sense at all, you'd be like, yeah, this is what's going to go down. And I'm not saying who it is, but any time there's a situation like this that's happened in the Hunger Games, it's going to happen, is when characters group together, it's going to end eventually. And there is several groups going on. And even if they're friends or they've known each other their whole lives... This is a life or death situation. And it's seriously, it is annoying to me. The, the characters I'm talking about didn't do this, but whenever the characters are like, why don't you trust me? Oh my God, they would never do something like that. I would never do something like that. I'm like, there's literally like 42 guns to your head right now. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna bet my life on what you would or would not do. Okay? 
I'm not gonna fucking do that. So I don't care if you're like, oh my God, no, they're so sweet. Why would you ever think that they would kill somebody? I'm like, because if they don't, they're gonna die. I don't know. Anyway, but there was a fucking bloodbath that just happened that was fucking insane. It was like one page and five characters die. What? And it was a miscommunication, obviously. But also, go off then. Um, I'm really digging it. And it is like, now there's only nine students left. And we still have quite a bit of the book. And I am very curious because I don't think, I don't think anybody's going to escape. I don't think we're going to pull a Hunger Games moment where they're like, we're going to find a way to save people. I'm like, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, because I don't really know how else it would end. I'm like, are we really going to read like 600 and something, like almost 700 pages just for everybody to die? I mean, yeah, probably, probably, honestly, but I am going to, what was I going to do? I'm going to check my PO box and I know I'm forgetting to do something. I know there's something I'm forgetting to do, but I guess I'm going to go home because I do need to edit and then I'll do some impromptu readings friends because I usually don't have this day off. So Anyway, I'm going to continue listening as I drive home. And I'm telling you right now, I am going to finish this book today. You're holding me accountable in the comment section. I will do it. I will finish this book. We are back home now. I changed my glasses because I have a headache and I'm like, could be the glasses. I haven't worn those glasses in a while. And I'm like, maybe the pupillary distance is like fucked up. I don't know. But let's see. I'm on page 44 of We Can Never Leave This Place. Still not really liking it. Not gonna lie to you. Still not vibing. But I am on chapter 67, which is page 529 of Battle Royale. Digging it. Really enjoying this. But I did have one package at my PO box. And it's inc- Well, that sounded intense. This is so lightweight. Like, it's like tabs. That's how lightweight it is. And I'm like, oh my god. Is it a manga? Like, it could be a manga. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but you know we love opening shit. Okay. <gasps> no, oh my god. No, I bought this for myself. Oh my god. I forgot. I bought this for myself. I bought this for myself. Okay. Guys. Oh god. Are we about, we're about to fuck summer ween up. Oh my god. Am I going to change my entire TV art? Am I going to change everything? <sighs> what moves the dead by T. King Fisher? Are you fucking kidding me? I love, I love Tiki and Fisher. I love this cover. This is amazing. I forgot that I bought this for myself. <gasps> oh my God. That is beautiful. Oh, shit. God damn. Oh my God. Stop. Tiki, Tiki and Fisher. You better, girl, you better stop, bitch. I, girl, what does it say? This one's for the Desi Dorsai Irregulars who would make Easton feel right at home. Shy Dorsai. Okay, so I don't know what that means, but I'm literally obsessed with her. Why does it say that she's only written Nettle and Bone and What Moves the Dead? Oh, because they're only ones that are by tour. Um, bitch. I love Nettle and Bone. I fucking love the Hollow Places. I'm so excited. I pre-ordered this a little while ago and I forgot. So this is from myself. I'm very happy about it. This is like such a perfect moment for this to come in because now I want to read it. For summer weed? Okay. So I'm going to um, get back to reading and figuring out what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I know that there's something, of course, I don't have it written down. There's something I'm supposed to do today and I, or that I should be doing today. Don't remember. Anyway, let's get back to um, reading. Hello, jump cut to me having a full face of makeup on and going full ham on the green glittery eyeshadow because I haven't really put my makeup on in a while and I saw the glittery green and I was like, why the fuck not? Anyway, I told myself, uh, because basically I was just putting my makeup on while I listened to this book and I was like, I'm not going to update this vlog until I finish this book. And it took a hot minute because this book is super long, but I finished it. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. I am definitely regretting using all of these tabs because 
I don't know. I really enjoyed this book, but I didn't love it. Like, I, I don't know. I'm like, I kind of want to give it like a three and a half star because I think that so much happens in this book that it does almost feel like really difficult to care about the characters because there's so many of them and all of them have like backstories. All of them have connections with each other, but it was just very difficult to you know, connect to them. There are a couple characters that I connected to, but then without spoiling anything, I'm not going to say like which characters are which. No, we're not editing that out. It's the South and it's hot. So the air conditioner is staying on. Sorry about it. Audio quality. Anyway, um, there's a couple characters in here that I felt like their deaths were so fast. Not at all what I thought that the storyline deserved or that I was hoping to get out of that character. Like no matter if I liked them or didn't like them, especially if I didn't like them, I was like, like there were times where like, say a character would just get like shot in the back. And I'm like, that's it? That's it? No. And also speaking of shooting people, um, the weapons that they got in their duffel bags were so ridiculous because the characters who were the were more defenseless would get really useless weapons like a fork or like a like a small dagger but it's like a girl who has never been aggressive in her life and I'm like she's not gonna be a, a combat hand-on-hand -hand person you know what I'm saying but then these motherfucking boys who are crazy are out here getting machine guns how's that fair I'm literally like looking at this game like this game is rigged like why do you want this crazy boy like any of these crazy boys or girls to be the ones who are getting the good weapons. They're gonna be the ones who survive till the end anyway because they're freaking crazy. Anyway, I will say this is like very Hunger Games. It's very Hunger Games, but in the Hunger Games, you like can kind of get more um, connected to the characters, but I really enjoyed it. I think I understand why this is a classic, you know, I get it. I think that I'll enjoy the movie more. So I think I'm gonna give this three and a half stars. I really liked it. But like, it's so long and so much shit happens. And there's not, there's not that many blue tabs, but there are a couple where like those moments hit me. But most of the time, all these red tabs are when people get murked. But most of the times when somebody died, I was just like, oh, that was fast. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I haven't read any more so far of We Can Never Leave This Place. Not vibing. You know, I know I've said that a million times, but I, it's already like, it's already like 8 p.m. And I'm like, am I going to do reading spreads? Yes, I probably will. Actually, no, I say that. I need to edit, but then I also want to do reading spreads because Here's I'm... Here's what I found. It's five o'clock somewhere, the official music video. <laughs> Was that Steve Jobs? Like, listen, you can start sprints at any time, bitch. Any time. Anyway, okay, I'm going to... Hopefully, I'm going to figure out another audiobook that I want to pick up. I don't know what I want to pick up just yet because that one was so fucking long that I want to get something a little bit shorter, but I am planning on finishing the Erica Roca book tonight. So cross your fingers that we're going to get that done. Hello. It is a time in which we're not going to talk about because I have not spent the time reading. I said I was going to finish the Erica Roca book. Psych. Did not do that. Uh, because I was on the phone with Grace, and then I got on the phone with my brother, and then I was on the phone with my niece. All of which talking about books. And honestly, my niece, who's so fucking young, knows so much about books. Like, it's- she was like, oh yeah, so I went to Goodwill and I picked up The Hate You Give. And I was like, Elena, you're like 12 years old. What are you talking about? Good for you. That book's amazing. Good for you. She told me about My Hero to Ar Academia, and I was like- <laughs> You're like literally a better booktuber than me. Anyway, um, Elena out there, if you're watching, hello, love you the most. You're amazing. But I was on phone calls all day instead of reading, but I did pick up the audio for The Island by Adrian McKinty. So I picked up that, which is funny because I also was about to pick up The Chain by Adrian McKinty. And I wanted to pick this one up first, but then the audio for The Island came in and I was like, I feel like I could just like listen to that really fast and then pick up the chain, maybe read them at the same time when I'm done with the Eric LaRocca book. But anyway, I'm going to call it a night for day three of Summer Ween. I want to thank you all so much for getting to the end of this video and for continuing on with me for this daily vlog journey. I'm hoping to keep up the momentum. We're hoping and a praying. Uh, we'll see how it goes. 
But if you've gotten this far into the video, uh, you could leave, leave just the island emoji. Like I know that I haven't gotten into the book yet, but we're starting it. So just leave like an island kind of palm tree moment emoji. And I want to thank you so much. And I hope you're having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having in whatever part of the world you're having it in. And I will see you in a video coming tomorrow. Bye.